Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Gaming with the K Wings, and you're in our living room, and I'm hearing people's voices. Freaky. Um, that is pretty weird. Anyway, this is very laid back. Amber and I are going to be taking turns playing the amazing Spider Man, and also answer some of your questions, and apparently. Some people don't understand the whole Spider-Man review at all, and we're just kind of like, what? So, yeah. Yes. We just kind of go over that while we're having fun playing this game, which I never said this game was bad. I said it's an awesome rental. Or I might not have used the words awesome, but it's definitely a rental. Yes, but we're using it now. Yes. <laughs> And we'll also show you guys some different costumes. Like right now, I'm in the Scarlet Spider costume, I believe is what this is. 20, cool. 2012 Scarlet Spider. It's red. You can see the Empire State Building right there. Let's go say hi. You web slinged onto oh, the air. I yeah, <laughs> exactly. A lot of people who are watching the reviews are like, Ultimate Spider Man's better because at least when you web sling, it doesn't like it appear doesn't on go invisible off the buildings. Air. Yeah. It's funny, especially when you're around Central Park, it's like, you realize, man, I'm, I'm web slinging on the air. I'm, I'm incredibly awesome because I can I can shoot a web and it will into stick- Into the clouds. Into the clouds, yes. Or into something. Well, I, I love one person said, well, maybe he's hitting an airplane, it's like, yeah, every time. Yeah, how can there be an airplane, like, every two inches? Oh. Yeah, because in Ultimate Spider-Man, which you saw me play and you were like, oh, I want to play that game, it looks awesome. Uh, Spider-Man yeah. would actually have to web sling on the building and he could crawl up his web and then you would see the remains of the web when he finished But if yeah. there was no place for him to web swing he couldn't do it Yeah, exactly uh, I love and that made it I more realistic. Gear, let's let's go uh, check out the game's combat a little bit uh, hey, You can use a stealth attack, but I'm just gonna be because I can Arkham City light anyone <laughs> Yeah it's not a bad thing, and everybody was like, oh, you praised Arkham City way too much. It's like, this is a clone of it. It's like, yeah, it's like not as good if, if you copy somebody else, then... Well, the, or the, something else. The combat is good. Yeah. It's fun. It's good, but it's like, if you do something someone already did, it's, you can't call it as good as the original. Yeah, we're we're also showing you guys not the story because we want to avoid spoilers. I'm gonna show you different costumes, and if I happen to talk during Donatello, oh well, it's not that big a deal. That's why we have subtitles. Yeah. It's just the the whole thing of like, you know, making it less realistic. It's like people, I don't know. It's like modern people think that making a game easier makes it better. It's like that's not necessarily true. I, I do like the GPS system, though. I think, it's, I think it's cool. It, they made it a lot more simplified than some of the other Spider-Man maps. Kind of like the whole Spider-Man 3 thing where yeah. you could... Uh, I, I guess it was cleaning up the city because we'd get all dirty and things like that. At least yeah. in the Wii version. But I, I like being able to select my destination and things like that. And we're going to go play some b-ball with thugs. Because that's, that's where... The, either that or is that a tennis court? No, that's a basketball court. Uh, yep. Well, well, well. Look who's getting away from me. Go home, boy. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. And you notice Spider-Man's a lot more flexible and uses agility and stuff. Yeah. And a lot of people are like, Oh, I, I love Spider-Man's combat in the previous games. It's like, well... I, it was okay, but I really like the whole Arkham City thing. Yeah, it's it, it, very cool. It's a, it's a good feel to it, and, and it does feel like Spider-Man. You, You're welcome. Uh, I'll bill you later. Hey, superheroes don't bill. They should. They, you no, know. that must be wrong. I love how they take out their phone and they start taking pictures. They're like, oh, nobody's going to believe this. Phone, picture. And you can actually interact with stuff here and throw it at people, which is... Cool, but I don't know. Sometimes I do it. I did it a lot during the story. Again, web slinging on nothing. Yep. <laughs> that was awesome. And you can see I'm using the web zip there, which a lot of people are saying, oh, the web rush thing is basically the web zip. It, it's like, well, it kind of is. Yeah. You can still see. It does look really cool. I mean, but um, I, I don't know. Just look at the building detail. Though. Yeah, it's that's like, the yeah. that's the thing is when I first started playing this game, I was like. Whoa, it's like all the buildings are brown and gray. And, and like, they look brand new. 
don't they? Yeah, none of the they don't have like old old fashioned buildings with detail and stuff. It's like all new buildings that are all like without any kind of detail at all. And it's just like unrealistic. In a in a real city there'd be all kinds of different types of buildings built at different times and You'd had molding on the side and details and brick buildings, and all kinds of stuff. They remove um, Queens and a lot of the other places. The only the only part of New York City you can really visit in this is Manhattan. Yeah. Like the business district and things like that. Here we are in the Empire State Building. Oops. For a second. I, f I fell off. Oops. Sorry. At least you're Spider-Man. You can have a web. I'm up. I'm up too high now, and they're like, "Oh, you have nothing to latch onto except for this tower." I did. I was going to do like a little My Thoughts video on this, but I I did like a lot of things about it when I first started to play it, but yeah. Alright, why, why don't you play for a little bit? Okay. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back in just a sec. Alright, so yeah, I'm playing as... what? Which one am I playing as You're again? playing as basically Fantastic Four Spider-Man, or Future Foundation is what he's called. He gets his costume when his friend Johnny Storm dies, and in Johnny Storm's will, the Human Torch, he asked Spidey to basically become a member of the Fantastic Four. Oh. So Spider-Man becomes an official member of the Fantastic Four. Wouldn't that make them Fantastic Five? No, because Johnny Storm's dead. Oh, But that's... they changed their name to the uh, Future Foundation, or Fantastic Foundation. I, I didn't really get it. Oh, okay. I'm not really... I stopped with Marvel Comics after, you know, one more day, where basically Spider-Man and Mary Jalen... Uh, gave their marriage okay. to the devil and then rebooted Spider-Man and that was around the same time Captain America oh. was killed So I, I kind of gave up on Marvel. That's just, horrible. Yeah, it is it was and I'm surprised there wasn't a bigger backlash than it was But people were just like oh they sold their marriage to the devil. That's not that big what a deal What do you mean they sold their marriage to the devil? I don't understand. In order to save Aunt May. Aunt May oh. was dying and they both decided well, there's only one thing we can do. We can give Mephisto, or whatever his name is, our marriage, and everything will go back to normal. And it's like, but we'll how be can, unhappy. How can you give somebody your marriage? That doesn't make any sense. Well, he, he wanted the one thing that made them happy. Like, the one thing that kept them together through all the heartache that Spider-Man endured uh, for, you know, Gwen Stacy's death and everybody. Um, and that was the one thing that he wanted to, to, you know, feed off for eternity. Like, that happiness was like, whatever. That's really weird. Yeah, it is. That's that's why I said, basically, I'm done with Marvel. And by this point, Stan Lee wasn't really doing anything. He's just kind of like a figurehead at the company. You know, like a CEO that doesn't yeah. do anything. He's not even really a CEO anymore. That's really strange. That sounds like some kind of old, like, folktale. You know, like, that's just creepy. Like, mm -hmm. Rumpelstiltskin or something. It doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, I, I still remember reading that comic on my break when I when I worked, uh, re when, I, uh, when I was a supervisor at um, EB Games. That's, yeah. that, I, I read that at Barnes & Noble, and I was just like, I looked at the issue, and I just put it right back in the case, and it was like, I'm done with Marvel. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, that's like, sealed that, the deal that was there. The, that was the last straw. Yes. Of, the Civil War it's was like all by... yeah. Civil War was totally political and things, and I was just like, you know, well, you can't really avoid politics, but you know, destroying somebody's marriage over something stupid like that, yeah. you know. And then of course we know Superman did the same thing in the New Fifty Two, basically, where they just annulled their marriage like it never happened, or uh... they got divorced or something. But at least they didn't sell it to like a the devil. Yeah, yeah that's disturbing. It is. You're doing pretty good, honey. It's I'm like, impressed. Thanks. You're able to swing while I talk. Are, are you going to go fight or anything, or are you just kind of... I'm just holding the button down and, <laughs> <laughs> and walking around. Uh, yeah. I do like how I look. Like, when I play this game, it's like, oh, I look so cool. I feel like I'm a superhero, you know? But then when you did show me some of the older Spider-Man games and, like, the music and... How the buildings look more exciting than I was like, oh, because I hadn't really played any Spider-Man games. So for someone who's never played a Spider-Man game, this game could be pretty cool. But if you play the others, then it's kind of like, oh. 
I, there's some that are kind of more exciting than I this. St I still don't like how the game freezes for a second when he gets down to the ground, and then it like you can see the frames skip and all that other thing. That's that's annoying to me. Yeah. I mean, it has great graphics, but the game has to be more, you than, missed. more than graphics. Ah! Oh, oh, yeah, you almost fell in the water. Uh, just like the other Spider-Man games, except for Ultimate. If you fall in the water, then uh, you basically lose. And they yeah. web zip out. Oh, that, yeah. That's still very lazy to me. Apparently, Peter Parker never took swimming lessons at the Y as a little kid. I think that's what I said in one of my Spider-Man reviews. Oh, really? Oh, <laughs> you know, I kind of miss doing Spider-Man games. Yeah. Spider-Man's 50th anniversary is coming up, so maybe I'll do a review of Ultimate Spider-Man. No, I was just thinking, like, if they sold their marriage to the devil or whatever, they obviously sold some of their fans, too. <laughs> oh, Marvel lost you know? a lot of... You know. It's like at the same time they sold their happiness and their fans' happiness at the and same time. And people were like, "That's okay. We have Ultimate Spider-Man to go back on with Peter Parker and Mary Jane, like you know, off again, off again, on again, off again." And then they they did they did another stunt where they killed Ultimate Spider-Man. They killed Peter Parker in in the arms of Mary Jane, like when Superman died in the arms oh of Lois gosh. Lane. Oh my gosh! Yeah, now they have a new Spider-Man. It's like. Uh, yeah, Let's it was go. just like Ultimate was the last straw for me after because I, I was trying to think okay you know that's that's one thing this, but this suit is pretty cool looking. I actually. like the Future Foundation, you know it's it's pretty cool. I don't like that they had to kill Johnny Storm to do it, but yeah, yeah. I don't know the whole thing where I stop and I can like time freezes and stuff. It, it, there is one part of it that is kind of realistic. Wait, though. you're gonna you you web rushed him? Yeah. It's so lazy. No, I'm using my powers to my advantage. And you're his you're using the web strike again. It's it's my superpower. I can no, stop it's, time. No, that's the lazy superpower. What 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 is this? The Spider Man uses that all the time in real life. You're cheating. He doesn't use this power. Yes, he does. Look at this. He can he can sense when things are coming at him. Oh. No, I like to think of it. As that's his Spidey sense. Oh. That was, that was pretty... That gave that guy a concussion, babe. I was mad because you said it was cheating. It is cheating. I, no. The web rush mode makes this game even easier. And this game's like already really easy. I don't think of it as a web rush. I think of it as Spidey Sense. What are you, Ooh, what's this? This is a stealth suit. Uh, it's called the Big Time, I believe it is. It's actually a pretty cool suit. Whee! <laughs> uh. It is fun, though. Yeah, it's, it's, I just wish the buildings weren't you, so blocked. You just missed the comic. Uh, yeah, I am trying to get some of the comics. Oh, why don't you go down there? We haven't show them a car thing. Uh. No, no, you. You, you have I'm to. I'm trying to get my comics. I know, but why don't you? Um, the we, car we, thing. Yeah, just go right on the police car. Uh. I don't know. I'm. I have comics to get. I'll, I'll try it. I, I don't know if there I can go. do see? it. There you go. See, see. Then it activates the chase thing. The chase thing has always been a part of the Spider-Man games. I, I mean the Spider-Man games that are free roam. Although this one's a little oh, bit different. Oh, I didn't know I could do this kind of thing. Yeah. <gasps> Whoa. I'm getting bored already, babe. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, quick time events. Ah. Sorry, no, I'm just, I need... You know what QTE is, right? Quick time event? Mm, this is a quick time no. event. Basically, you perform an action, and then you have to perform another action. Eh. It's like, it's like a mini movie, an interactive movie. Kind of. This this was anticlimactic. I, I like how he uses the, the webs to put people up like that. I think that's very Spider-Man-ish. That's very cool. That's freaky. <laughs> it's freaky. <laughs> well, but in reality, yeah. wouldn't the car crash before he could... If the guy can't see where he's going, and he's going like 50 or 60 miles an hour, you know, down a New York road. I didn't know what was happening. It, it was it was changing. Like, the load thing. Yep. Now we're not even on the street anymore. I don't even remember my thought anymore. Oh well. That's okay. Is it? I don't think so. You really? Yeah. So yeah, no, I like I like web slinging. But you you do admit that parts of this game is fun though. 
Yeah, of course. And you, you've you admitted that, too, so... Well, I mean, apparently people didn't listen to that part. Yeah, no, they, you said a lot of great things about it. You just were honest that, you know, maybe it wasn't as, you know... What I got out of it was, you know, there there could have been sp- some better things, and you might just want to wait till you know it goes down in price. Oh yeah. Especially for like for casual gamers like me, or for people who've never played a Spider-Man game, or people who've never played a game ever. <laughs> like this game would be like really good because it's like I literally did fall asleep like playing it. I had the button pushed down and. I know. I was tempted to take a picture of it or, or whatever. I don't I, know how I was still playing. I must have just been clutching the controller in my sleep. I was writing, I was working on the Zooey video while you were you were out, and it was just like, how's the game still playing? It's like, he can't be. And I looked, and your hand was still on the button, because in this game, all you have to do is hold it in, and he web slings. Yeah. In the other ones, you actually have to tap it every single time. Yeah, but as you were saying, like, the like the move is even more annoying. Oh, the move is horrible. Uh, how they did it is you have to use the, the motion controller and you have to have the PlayStation 3 controller to in order to move Spider-Man around. Oh. Then you aim with you aim with the move and you move Spider-Man around. So it's completely worse than Spider-Man 3 on the Wii. Yeah, I was going to say, didn't that hurt your arm like when you played uh, Spider-Man on the Wii? Yeah, before? I dislocated it. Yes! You're doing Bruce Campbell? Okay, we're gonna clam up for a second so you guys can hear Bruce. Got something new for you, Spider-Man. How would you feel about some race challenges? Don't answer that. Your feelings are not important. <laughs> what is important is you get your butt over here right now and show us you deserve to have the word man in your name. Show us what you got. Oh, Bruce Campbell's oh, awesome. Oh no, what is this? It's a race challenge. You just have to go to that little red thing. I don't know if I can aim each time. It's well, let's see be if you, hard. you just use web rush. That's what this is I training. Messed up. This is training for web rush. That's all this is. So you get good at using oh. it. See? You just have to go I'm to those red markers. I'm still kind of learning how to use it though. I've noticed. You can just tap the R1 it's button. Hard to you don't, it's hard to see it so far away. You don't you don't even have to go into web rush mode. You can just web zip. I thought I have to see? hold it no. in and turn. No, that's that's the other one. See, just use the R1 button. Oh. Oh. I get so confused of what I'm doing. You're doing just fine. You got plenty of time. I mean, it's not mm-hmm. like this is hard. It's a race. Well, what's really cool about these challenges though, when you do them, it, if you complete them, I think it's four times in a row, you unlock the Sam Raimi <gasps> classic Spider-Man costume. I completed it! Yeah, I know you did. But you you just heard me, right? You can unlock the classic Spider-Man costume from oh. the Sam Raimi movies. Really? If you complete all of Bruce Campbell's challenges, I think it's four times. I don't remember how I unlocked the costume. That's pretty cool that they have him in here. He's like one of your favorite actors. Yes. He's, the, he's pretty awesome. Yeah, see, I, I don't... I like the ability to actually bounce off the walls myself. I don't like how this does it for me. As Immediately when they showed this at E3, like the um, web rush mode, I was just like, this is either going to make or break the game. And it broke the game for me. It just like... It, it's like, this completely removes the point of being Spider-Man. It's like... it's it's Like you said, it's watching, you know, someone else play the game. It, you're not doing it. Yeah. You're directing it, but you're not actually doing it. That, even that even in the story off. mode, though, there's a lot of interactive movie things. Yeah, QTEs. Where you just, yeah, whatever you said. My where turn. You just push buttons. And we're back. This time I am in the Sky- Scarlet Spider again. And uh, I just wanted to talk about this. Look, I'm Dracula Spider Man. Yeah, no reflection see. at all, yet. The buildings somehow appear in the windows. Yeah. Oh, that's messed yeah, up. Yeah, we did get a pretty cool... Somebody left a cool comment that made a lot of sense, you know, about that. Um, what what Kaming had already thought about that, actually. Uh, yeah, I just... I, I removed a lot of aspects from the review because... Uh, well, a lot of reasons. 
apparently you were people trying not to be too harsh. And but... then people said I was harsh. It's like you want to see a harsh review? Watch yeah. Batman Dark tomorrow. There were and anybody who thinks that um, you know Luke was harsh, like there were tons of like reviews on the internet that were harsher than his. The metric score for this was a 7.2. And they said, you know, worse stuff about it. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't that hard on the game. And I did compare it to the other Spider-Man games because it's virtually the same game. The only difference is what you're seeing right now is Spider-Man is much larger in the player's camera. Whereas in the yeah. other games, to give that player more of a sense of depth on, and how big New York City is, is Spider-Man would be zoomed out a little bit more. That way, yeah. here it feels like you know, a kind of a giant visiting New York. It doesn't. Yeah. It doesn't really work. He kind of weirded me out because it's like it's supposed to be who who is supposed to be like a teenager or a college kid. Uh, but I, it's changed so much. Either, I, I'm just ticked that you can't see any people in the building. Either way, either. though, it's just he should be smaller than ginormous. You know, if he's a teenager or a college kid. And they also said when they made him big, the developers were like, oh, we made him bigger. It's like, it's added this sense of, um, what's the word am I looking for? Vertigo and stuff. And it really didn't. If anything, it actually yeah. made the players feel more at ease. Look at this. There's nobody inside the buildings. It's yeah, I've never gotten vertigo from this Web game. rush in the air. I got some vertigo from uh, Lego Batman 2 at points, but oh, I've never gotten falling vertigo off, from falling this. Falling off Wayne Tower was, was bad. I mean, this this kind of gives me a little feeling of a pit in my stomach when I look down at the road eh, a little bit. not me. I, well, I have a fear of heights, so. Oh. Yeah. Although flying around as Superman didn't make me feel sick. Well, that's because everybody feels safe as Superman. I'm not getting into Superman. I'm not. It's your turn. Right. Can, we'll I, can I actually go on top of that? Oh. Now, in, in the other Spider-Man games, I would actually get plowed by the cab. It stops on a dime. Yeah, it does. No. That's that's another it's, example of bad it, physics. It's very hard for them to... Isn't it very hard, don't you think, like, for the cars to move when you are on them? Do they, like, hardly ever move? Well, in this one, I've mm -hmm. noticed if I stand on the cars for a long time, sometimes they don't move at all. They just sit there. You actually have to get out of... Like, they have to think you're not there, and then they'll move. And the other ones... They would honk and yell at you for a while, but then they'd still drive and you'd yeah, be on top of them. Yeah, I remember them. that. It, it was just more... I remember some of the other Spider-Man games just being more interactive and more funny and just like there was just... I don't know. Alright, I'm switch up gears a little bit. In order to unlock uh, the night mode, what you're seeing right here is you have to get to a certain point in the story. There's no way to transition between night and day, like in some of the other games. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, day, day, or dusk. Wait, it goes dawn, afternoon, dusk, and night. I think those are the four, and the sky reflects a different thing. Yeah. But these are really interesting missions. I kind of like these. These are very few and far between, but you have to use stealth to take these guys out. But you can't really, you know, Spider-Man's allergic to bullets and stuff like that. The doctor said he can't have any pass through his body at any time. <laughs> so you have to avoid being shot, which is always a good thing. I always try to avoid being shot when I'm taking out criminals myself. Wait, you're using the web rush. Well, I have to for you're this. You're cheating. No. Not this, fair. <laughs> this is a different set of circumstances. No. Oh, yeah, sure. Well, because it's in bullet time. <laughs> I don't understand. Well, the people you fought didn't have guns. Oh, okay. Right. You can actually tie up thugs like that, too. Ah, uh, I saw the game skip a little bit. I don't know, can Spider-Man in real life, like, know when bullets are coming and get out of the yeah, way? Yeah, he has spider sense. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Bullets are really fast. But even if he knows it's coming, he can't always dodge it. Oh. That's I why see. Tony Stark made him the Iron Spider costume, because it was bulletproof. But then when he portrayed uh, Tony to work with Captain America during the um, Superhero Registration Act, yeah. uh, Tony Stark disabled his armor and basically beat the crap out of Spider-Man. Wow. Yeah, so Tony... Yeah. Not a good guy. I don't want to go... I might, I might come back later, Bruce. I want to go uh, beat some more thugs up, because it's fun. One of the biggest disappointments that I left out of the review because I was unsure of at the time 
is when you beat the game, all of the bad guy missions, like car chases, warehouse, um, rescuing citizens and doing all this other stuff, mm -hmm. it disappears from the game. It's gone. It's like Spider-Man beats the game and all the crime in New York City disappears shortly after. That's weird. So you can keep playing it through, but there'll be no crime? Yeah. So basically all you can do is collect comics and do a couple little missions. That's it. Wow, that makes Spider-Man like the best superhero ever. He eliminated crime in his city. I know, but it also decreases a lot of the replay value. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just I'm just being weird. Does that guy that guy sense. just shake his hand like yeah yeah? I think he did. As your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, I'm happy to lay the smack down on my not so friendly neighbor. Oh, he, and also Spider-Man will reuse the same lines every time you save somebody. Oh, right. That right. gets that gets really annoying really fast. <laughs> I saw him use one line that really freaked me out one time like <laughs> He said like to a citizen, he's like no one deserves to have their eyes gouged out. I was like, "Wow. wow. <laughs> I can't believe this is a kids game." <laughs> Oh, uh, that was weird. One thing I, I do applaud, I mean, I know Marvel's owned by Disney now, but I really like that there's really not so much profanity in this. I should have been hit by the bus right there, by the way. I stopped right in front of the bus as it was going on a green light. Yeah, it stops right away. Uh, fans of Spider-Man 3 and 2 will also be relieved to know that you can take people to the hospital again. Although mm -hmm. this time it's because of the cross-species infection that people have to go see the doctor. But oh, I, right. I still like being able to teleport people there. Although, you don't take them really to the hospital. You take them to, you know, these locations. Uh, I, I don't know the medical term for it. I am not sure. A little the hazard. first aid tent or something? No, the hazard place. Um, where, where quarantine? They... Quarantine, that's it, yeah. There we go. Yeah. Although, I really liked delivering pizzas and... I think it was Spider-Man 2 or 3. I thought that was fun. Oh, yeah. That was... I think I remember... Yeah, no, I've, I've seen you play all the games, so... I definitely remember the pizza thing. I never really got to pizza play a lot time. of Lords of Shadow. Or not Lords of Shadow. Um, Web of Shadows. Hmm. Or whatever it was called. Yeah. Web of Shadows. More Bruce Campbell. Be the king of the airwaves? Well, have I got a challenge for you. Now, I heard that you can do whatever a spider can. Here's your chance to prove it. We're gonna play a little game. I'll give you a destination. Go there as spectacular-esque as you can, and follow your every move with my remote-controlled camera. You'll have to stay in frame to make these perfect. Now, for your first mission, get that pretty spider butt to the marked antenna on that skyscraper. Speaking of antennas, I was on my mountain bike checking out some very fine ladies when, bang, I took one right in the face. They were lifting a huge antenna right in the middle of the street. It's supposed to catch airwaves, not me. Not to mention, it's mm -mm. my hair in the process. I hate antennas! Anyway, good luck! Whoa. Yeah. Uh, I'm... I was just saying how I like that this game has very little profanity compared to a lot of the other Team Raider games, especially Arkham City. Yeah. So, but that's because of Disney owning. You know, Warner Brothers doesn't really care about that kind of stuff. Right. Again, this is just training for using the web zip. Uh, basically, Bruce Campbell appears in a couple of the Spider-Man games to act as a tutorial guy, and I think that's what the crazy reporter or whatever he, extreme reporter does in this game he teaches you how to web zip and web rush and things like that cool yeah it's very cool they have bruce campbell in here he should add a cameo in the new movie yeah definitely that's pretty cool i, I like that i mean i don't i don't dislike spider-man's new costume either i think it's okay i just prefer the traditional yeah. I was surprised they didn't have more, like, costumes that were red and blue. Like, they had a lot of different colors. I thought there were other costumes that were red and blue besides just one. That just shows how naive I am about Spider-Man. I... Well, Spider-Man had a lot of costumes. But yeah. the only reason, I mean, a lot of people are saying, Oh, I need to be more informed about the costumes. It's like, I know a lot about Spider-Man. And, you know, especially before... Uh, I still keep up with... I don't read the comics anymore because I don't support Marvel. I, I don't right. support their decisions, so I boycotted them. I, I don't want, you know... I don't want to have to explain when I have a kid that, oh yeah, um, 
Spider-Man was married, but he sold his marriage to the devil. Then my, my kids are like, hey, when are you and mommy going to get rid of your marriage so you, yeah, know, you exactly. can prevent a world crisis? It's like, you know, love conquers all, and that was just stupid. Exactly. It, they, it, it was like, hey, let's kill off Superman and then replace him with four not-so-powerful supermen. And then let's have a crazed murderer replace Batman, and then we'll bring Batman back, but have him even darker than before. But he won't kill people. He'll just be, like, a major jerk. It's like, who comes up with this stuff? <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, I know. That's really weird. So I have, I have a big problem with that, you know? Yep. I mean, luckily, Spectacular Spider-Man was on the air when that kind of crap was happening. That really good cartoon show. That was oh, awesome. Oh, right, right, right. Eh. I think I'm done. Yeah, it's kind of weird that the fists are like side quests and criminals at the same time. Well, they're 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 called minor crimes or, or petty crimes. It's like nothing petty about having a gun up against your head or anything like that. I'm on my way. So we've come to the part of you know, our playthrough. What what do you think about this game, hun? In all honesty. Um, I mean, I thought it was pretty cool to play for, because I hadn't really played a Spider-Man game before, but then, you know, when I saw the other Spider-Man games that you showed me, some of the older ones, I was like, oh, wow, these are pretty exciting. You know, uh, so, I mean, I I agree with your review, you know. It's, it's fun, but I don't think I would like pay full price for it right away. You would wait I mean, for it to go down. Maybe a price. I would if I if I really just wanted a game to play and, and I really you know, if I had never played a Spider Man game before, which I hadn't really, maybe I would buy it, but probably not. I'd wait for it to go down. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean it it has as a movie licensed game, it really isn't bad. I, you know, there are parts of it that, yeah, this it didn't really stack up. Some of the characters, some feel very stiff. Um, New York City looks great, but we've already been to New York City so many different times. There's really nothing new that you haven't experienced in New York City in a Spider-Man game, and that's that's the problem with these type of sandbox games because it's based on Manhattan, and we've already gone through Manhattan in Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, Ultimate Spider-Man, and Web of Shadows. Mm -hmm. It's the same layout. The buildings might look a little bit better, but not by much. Yeah. That's why I like games based on fictional places like Gotham City, because each developer that takes that task, you know, creates a new Gotham. They create a new experience. It's fresh. Right, right. But when you base it on a real environment, a real place... Um, it's the same environment, so you'd think you'd add something to make it look more exciting, or exactly you'd make it put some work into it. Not they put work into it, but you know, just make it its own. Do something to make it original. Yeah. So yeah, so as you were saying, you said you know you would, it would be a rental or yeah, you know, the, this price. game's a rental. I I you know. I stick with what I said. I don't think I was harsh with the game at all. Like I said, if you want to see me harsh, go check out some of my older videos. I really like Games Had It. I, I you know. Yeah. So I was critical. So we had fun. This is a fun game to play, and maybe we'll maybe we'll play a little bit of it more. But I, I've already beaten the game twice. I'm I'm done with it. Yeah. So you know? it was. It was fun. It's exciting. Maybe on a day when I'm bored, or yeah, I can, <laughs> I can just web sling and. All right. Yeah. Okay, so there you have it. Straight from, you know, what we think about the game. You know, you guys want to pick it up at 60 bucks. Uh, I will not be doing the 3DS game to review, and also I will not be doing a Retro Mondays tomorrow. Because, uh, well, the Batman videos take a while, and I'm still prepping stuff. But we're continuing LEGO Batman 2 on our LP channel Yay. still. And also starting new LPs for Batman games that... I did a long time ago, like, review-wise, that I'm actually doing full LPs of. Awesome. Yeah, and it's, it's going to be a lot of fun. So thanks so much for tuning in. If you guys are new to our channel, a welcome. We hope you guys have enjoyed it. Gaming with the K-Wings is a very laid-back approach where we play a new game every week, unless I've been working on reviews so much that I just don't have time to, you know, do this. Mm-hmm. But uh, we hope you've enjoyed it. Let us know what you think, and uh, if you agree with us, you know, whatever. If you don't, that's your choice, too. Have a great evening. We, we hope you guys have a great week, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Till then, God bless and happy gaming. See ya.